GU, Uniqlo's sister brand. Let's talk about it. So this is Uniqlo's sister brand, GU. Obviously, both are Japanese brands. And GU is derived from the Japanese word GU, J-I-Y-U, which means free and unconfined. And as an American, you're speaking my language. But seriously, GU is targeting a different market than Uniqlo. You want to think of this like Lexus and Toyota. Toyota's target market is probably a bunch of daily drivers, families, and all that. So putting a lot of research and development and money into a enthusiast car just wouldn't make sense. So they created Lexus, which is their luxury brand, and they produce more luxurious vehicles, more enthusiast vehicles, something like the LC500. Both brands, they target a different market, just like Uniqlo and GU. I'd say GU is targeting the more trendier streetwear crowd based on their designs and cuts. Uniqlo does have that a little bit, but GU is really leaning into that. And you can tell because they just did a collaboration with Undercover, a Jun Takahashi brand. More on that later. So the clothes, how are they? Well, spoiler alert, I actually quite like them but there are some designs where I feel like it's just more a Uniqlo design. There's obviously going to be some crossover with their market, so I totally get it. GU, Uniqlo, I know they're sister brands, but they're still separate brands. So I feel like some designs, they could be placed in Uniqlo, but I really like the clothes. So the first piece we're gonna start off with, their V-neck cardigan. As you can see, this is a much different piece than you would see on Uniqlo's site. So this cardigan is very loose fitting while the cardigans at Uniqlo are much more form fitting and simple. It is 100% cotton. And y'all know I love this garment dyed look. You get that faded wash, which I absolutely enjoy because it's just so versatile. You can wear this with a ton of colors and it just feels more autumn-esque. Y'all just know me and slate gray, grayscale. That's my vibe. They have three colors. I don't think you can go wrong with either one of them, which is exactly how I will be styling this with a small pop of color. The cardigan in itself white kicks and a green cap it's a simple fit it looks good i definitely recommend this if cardigans are your thing now keeping it on the wash theme we have the crew neck sweater right here We have three colors, the blue, the gray, and this is the olive. And honestly, it still looks like gray to me. I don't know if you guys can tell. So this is basically almost gray with a tinge of green. And I really dig these garments because these garments are clean. You get that garment dyed pre-wash look. It's going to look good out the box and it's not gonna deform as quickly in the wash because it's been pre-washed. You get that same inside out stitching and it doesn't have a crazy relaxed fit unless you wanna size up. Just loose and chill. I am wearing a size medium. And because it doesn't have that crazy drape, you can style it in many ways. You can wear it for a date night, but I like to keep it simple. So with this olive one, I'm just going to wear it with the Japanese Hakama style pants, some leather boots, a gray beanie, simple, but clean. And this is a little color hack for you guys. If you guys have a garment with gray undertones, like basically any of these pieces, they always look great with gray accessories. So a gray sling, a gray beanie, a little hack for you guys. Let's keep it moving. Next, we got the Cozy Melton Balmachan. Balmachan? Completely said that wrong. So anyways, the coats. Not gonna lie, man. Pretty solid for the price. And you guys might be asking, why is this called the Melton? That's a funny word. Melton actually is a fabric. Traditionally, it's made from natural wool fibers. But keep in mind, it can also be synthetic, which this one is. And synthetic isn't always a bad thing. I actually find it pretty impressive that humans have done this. It's actually incredible that we've created waterproof garments. So synthetic isn't always bad. Just depends on what you get. Now on a piece like this, you can probably get some better pieces. I would actually still recommend Uniqlo's very own Chesterfield jacket, which is 90% wool, 10% cashmere. But if you look at the price differences, this is only 80 bucks and that one is 200 bucks. So if you're on a tighter budget, you should definitely stick to this one because it actually has a solid weight to it. It's actually constructed very well and it also looks premium for the price. Something like this, 80 bucks, very minimal. It's going to stay in your wardrobe forever. Like I said, this looks very premium. It does have a wool like texture and it's actually quite heavy which is very important when it comes to drape the heavier the coat is the more it'll drape on your body and flow as you walk rather than being a lighter coat which i have plenty from uniqlo that doesn't really flow as much as you want just because it's a lighter weight there is an inside pocket i do love this cuff detail right here it gives it a more mature look and I got the navy color. You can never go wrong with black or navy when it comes to a coat. And styling wise, not everything has to be wide fit. So we're gonna go with some flared trousers, slightly flared, very slim fit, some Chelsea boots, a white dress shirt, unbuttoning a few buttons, and this would be perfect for a date night. Which means you gotta do your hair. And that brings us to the sponsor of today's video with a completely new look, 
Bluemon. So let's first talk about their brand new design and why I find it so useful and so will you. So there's been some times where my product from Bluemon has dried up, not the fault of Bluemon, I'm just an idiot. Sometimes you just forget to close your product, I do that with my lotion sometimes, and it dries up and it's annoying. Their new design though makes it idiot proof for people like me. You close the cap, snap the door closed, it's easy and simple. And I also love their new approach. The products are stackable so it's easier to organize. They went with a more minimal approach so it looks nicer on your bathroom countertop. Top. and all the main info is all up front super easy to see no more spinning the products trying to figure out which one it is they did a really good job so fellas real quick let me take you through my hair routine so it starts with the pre-styling which sets the foundation for how the hair will look it's that important and makes a massive difference trust me so I start with their wax fiber apply it to my damp hair and blow dry you'll start to feel the product activate and this alone is already holding pretty well just look at all that volume and there's actually ingredients to assist with your hair health which I appreciate because I naturally have dry hair. I grew up in a desert. I live in a desert right now. My hair is always looking for moisture and nutrients. And that is why as a post styler slash finishing product, we will be using this hydrating pomade. So this is designed to last all day and in humid climates, including the gym. High hold, low shine, which is exactly what I need. I basically just use a dime sized amount, emulsify it into the hands. And I always go from root to tip, starting from the back of the head. Then we do the final detailing and refining the hairstyle. And here's the before and after. So yeah, that's why I love the pomade. My hair looks best when there's a little bit of shine. And man, does this hairstyle really complement this coat? Anytime I go for a more dressy look or whenever I go for a date, I always do my hair. And when I do, I use Bluemon. Hair really is like makeup for men. So if you want to improve your hairstyle or you get frustrated from using other products, just head over to Bluemon. You can use my discount code Ty for 10% off. And it's going to be that first link down in the description. So thank you Bluemon for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to it. Now, Let's move on to the only pants that I bought from this collection or this release, the super wide cargo pants. These are some cargo pants. I got them in white because I don't have that many white pants in my wardrobe for me to push myself out of my comfort zone. And honestly, I should have probably got more pants from GU just to test it out. And already you can tell on body, this is something Uniqlo would never put out. Uniqlo has put out similar pieces. They called them parachute pants as well, but they weren't really as wide and as drapey as this piece. These are actually wide fit pants almost balloon fits they describe it as voluminous which is a perfect way to explain it so you've got the cargo pockets of course and the subtle pleat detail around the shin area which just adds to the casual look they do come with the cinch inside drawstring so you can tighten it up and this is a size small by the way so if you want a wider fit a looser fit size up a size I'm normally a size 30 waist this is a size small and it's super wide fitting I'd obviously recommend you stick to the olive or the black color You're probably going to wear those more but I already have plenty of those pants which is why I got white and when it comes to white I always love styling it with blue I don't know why maybe it's because the sky is blue with the white clouds it just always looks good so you're gonna see me styling this with their wash crew neck in blue white kicks gray beanie keeping it very simple letting the pieces do the talking our next piece we have the heat padded jacket right here This is very similar to Uniqlo U's Fall Winter 2023 release. I bought a puffer jacket from them in a more clay colorway, but it does have a hood. They have a ton of colors. I went with the brown color. And right off the bat, I would highly recommend this piece. This is only 60 bucks and it's gonna keep you super warm, take care of you for the winter time. There's a ton of functionality and performance to this piece. First off, this isn't block tech, but it's actually windproof. Probably just can't describe it as that because it's a Uniqlo thing. It's also slightly water repellent so it's going to be perfect for those small storms, small precipitation, a little bit of snow. You also got zipper pockets, an inside pocket, a padded hood. And I do love that the puffed segments are actually very wide. I'm not a big fan of the, you know, the Patagonia stuff like that is very thin. Just not my preference. This one is wide fit. It makes it more towards that streetwear side. And puffer jackets, man. I always love the visual protrusion of the garment that you get, which just makes your fit look so much better. Because you got quite a lot of functionality, this can actually handle some light hikes you can definitely wear any more techie hiker core vibe and you can also lean more towards a streetwear look so that makes this piece very versatile 60 bucks you can't go wrong with it the color options that you get you know my girl is from the shy so I'm gonna visit there a lot especially this winter time I'm gonna bring this with me now next up is a jacket I'm not too fond of I'm not explaining it the tag still on here I'm probably gonna return it this isn't a bad jacket it actually has a more techie look you got the high neck collar this chest pocket right here it actually looks quite decent I just don't need a jacket like this it is actually 30 bucks 
which is quite affordable. I don't know. I just feel like there's better options that you can get from Uniqlo or GU itself. That'll just feel a little bit nicer, a little bit more premium. This one is of course synthetic. Kind of has to be if you want that utility, almost shell like, soft shell like jacket. That's just the way it goes. Pretty basic. You got the high neck look, but you can also drop the collars right here for a more minimal look. It's kind of meh. That's all I got to say about it. Okay, next up. We have a collaboration with Undercover. This is the June Takahashi brand. This is, they did a collaboration together and the theme was called Cosmic Noise. So I got this in a size medium. I do wish I did size up because it is a little more slim fitting, basically just a standard fit. And I think this would look much better if it was very relaxed, but it's still an attractive piece. And the whole Cosmic Noise theme is basically just comfortable noise in daily life. And out of the two colorways, I think I got the best one. Lighter gray crew necks are just kind of my thing than black crew necks. It just looks good on a grayscale outfits. This one does get sort of itchy though, so I do recommend wearing a white shirt underneath, which is what I would do anyways. Get a little bit of a contrast underneath the shirts. It's a subtle detail, but it does show intention and purpose, and it also looks very good. I've got on some balloon fit pants from Needles Tokyo, Uniqlo shirt underneath, some white and gray sneakers from 1587, corduroy sling, and a white cap. And I just love the profile of this entire fit, and I also love the texture that the crew neck provides. Now, speaking of that corduroy sling bag, that's this one right here another piece from GU I'm a big fan of textured slings when you throw on a sling in general you already get a contrast in texture but if you already have one that has built-in texture like this one with a quilted sling bag that I recommend up from Amazon instant texture to your fit what I dig about this one is how easily adjustable it is there are some bags where you have to take it off and adjust it this one you can leave right on you and you can adjust it to whatever position that you like you have these two pull tabs right here once you sling it on you can just pull this one right here and it'll tighten it up if you want to loosen it you just hold this top one and then you push down the bag and you can take it off much easier it is also zipper and closed so everything will stay inside it's not going to fall out and you have these two front pockets for quick easy access you know maybe some hand sanitizer your airpods however you see fit this is definitely a sling bag i can recommend final piece you can see tag still on there because i don't know what to do with it and i just unboxed it this morning so i'm still deciding if i'm going to keep it or not but this is the piece i feel would be better on uniqlo's site as you can see you got that minimal look, collar, no crazy designs. If you've seen the GU collection, basically anything on GU sites, you're gonna see a lot more crazier designs, lots of zippers, lots of pockets. Like I said, there's probably gonna be some crossover. You can style this in a more minimal fit. You can style this in a more streetwear approach. So yeah, let's talk about it. When it comes to the look of it, I know on the site, it just looks like a simple gray piece, but when you zoom in closer, it has sort of a gingham type pattern. It's like checkered black and gray. So it does have a darker gray look and it's got a real fall cozy type of texture which I can see why this could be a GU product you also get an inside pocket and like I said you can style this in a few different ways so if you guys appreciated this GU review make sure you give this a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and until then stay fly deuces